Um, MLB owners are not happy with the latest offer from the players. Um, it, it, it's, explain this to me without going crazy. The MLBPA proposed a $5 million reduction in the pre-arbitration pool, wh- whatever that means. Um, right. Is this proof that the players are part of the problem in the pudding? I had to add the pudding part because it's PP, whatever. Players are player the proof there's a part of the problem in the part pudding. of the problem in the pudding by probably <laughs> by, by poo-pooing on the proposal there you go more peas alliteration Ooh. monday um yeah i don't 100 percent understand this one as well as far as pre-arbitration pool um is that for specific teams again there's so many intricacies in sports especially with with money that I, I can't even pretend to understand. This feels like something that Mitch can help us out with. Maybe we'll have right. him on later uh, in, on in the week. But in, in terms of if I'm looking at this from a casual perspective, which that's what I am. I'm basically mm. looking at it from a casual outsider's perspective here, not knowing the intricacies of where this $5 million is, arbit- you know, is earmarked for. It sounds like pennies, 100%. I, I, you know, as far as... Um, you know, not knowing what's going on. This sounds like a drop in the bucket. And why is this stuff still holding up at an MLB season? They're like, deadlocked, by the way. Like, yeah, like, what are we doing? And I don't know if this guy, you know, this this writer here is using buzzwords to try to make me feel like I need to take a side. But the longer this goes on, the more it hurts the players. It does. Yep. It hurts the players because the closer and closer – that we get to these non-mega millionaires not receiving paychecks, it's a problem. The Gwinnett Stripers throw in full season. And I, I was happy. Were you happy to hear that from Charlie B? That I was. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Like That's awesome. I would really love to see, no offense to Charlie and the Stripers, I would really love to see these top prospects or these potentials, anyone who wants to cross the picket line, Go play in your big league stadiums for you a year or, or half a year. Um, I know that the movie was fiction, but do you remember the movie The Replacements with Keanu Reeves? Yes. Where the the, the NFL players sat outside of the stadium, you know, with their pickets. Yeah. And these guys just went and now these were a little different. These weren't prospects. These were just a bunch of has-beens that they found. But, but you know, compare the, you know, compare it to up and coming prospects. You know, hey, get out on the field, play some major league baseball games. How about a double A prospect who may, you know, may not see the field for three, four more years, uh, you know, with with the strategy that's in place when the collective bargaining agreement works. Yeah, let's go let them play some major league baseball games. I bet the the players would, you know, or the, excuse me, the fans would show up. Now, yep. would, would they pay the ticket prices that you were charging once before? No, but nope. the, MLB, the MLB owners, if you're all about money, you might as well get some is better than none. And you get some. And the MLB, the big leaguers get none. So, I mean, that's that's the biggest, like, middle finger slash bargaining chips you might have in your pocket if you end up starting to, trying to do to, to, to a, a Major League Baseball season uh, with scabs, basically. Is what uh, I, 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 was, I was just happy that those guys are still getting to have fun over there and still grow their, grow their brand with Popple. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um. <laughs> okay, so 